Hey everybody, this is Jordan from Closet Tools. Today we're gonna to go over how to install Closet Tools on your iOS device. Uh, I'm gonna be using my iPhone today, and it's the same process for iPhones and iPads. You'll be able to use the same instructions for either one. Right off the bat, before I get into anything, I wanna explain that Closet Tools is not optimized to run on iPhones. And it's not that it doesn't work. Once you get it up and running, it works just fine. But in mobile devices, using code in the browser doesn't allow you to run it in the background. So on a computer, when you're using Closet Tools, you can run it in the background. You can go to different tabs, you can minimize the browser. As long as Closet Tools is up and running, it can run. Whereas on mobile devices, if you leave the browser and go to a different app, or you lock your lock screen, then Closet Tools will stop running. And yeah, as long as you have your device uh, on and awake and running and the browser is in the foreground, then it'll work just fine, but it won't run in the background. So if you're trying to install this on your main iOS device, then it's probably not going to work out that well. If you have an extra device laying around and you're like, hey, I can just plug this in and let it run all the time, great, then this is going to be great for you. So yeah, if you only have your own main device, then you might want to consider either getting a computer or if you have access to a computer, that's going to be the better way to run Closet Tools. All right, let's get into the installation. So the first step uh, is to get to these instructions on your iOS device. And if you're already there, that's great. But I'm going to open up Safari and I'm going to go to the closet.tools website. And then I'm going to tap this menu and hit documentation. And then once we're in the documentation, we'll open up the documentation sections and hit Apple under the mobile installation. Now we're at these instructions. We'll scroll down to the steps. The step number two is to copy the code for closet tools to your clipboard on your phone. So all you do is you just tap this button and it copies it to your phone. You just tap it on there. Next, we're going to hit the share button in Safari. And then we're going to hit add bookmark. And then we're going to hit save. And all that's going to do is just add a bookmark to our bookmarks. And then what we're going to do is we're going to edit it. So we're going to open the bookmarks section of Safari. To search for your bookmarks, you might have to scroll down a little bit just to get that search bar to show up. And then you could search for closet tools. And you'll see that bookmark that we just made. And so what we can do is we can tap and hold on that bookmark, and then we can hit edit. And that allows us to edit the code for this bookmark. And so what I'll do is I'll delete all the text other than closet tools. And then you'll double tap, actually triple tap on the URL to copy the whole thing. And then you just hit paste. That's going to paste in the code that we copied earlier. Now we'll hit done, and we'll hit done. And that was it. So that's how we install Closet Tools. Now let's actually use Closet Tools. So next we're going to head over to Poshmark and you can use the URLs here in the steps. I'm going to go to Poshmark.com and you're going to log into your Poshmark account. Okay, cool. So we're all logged into our Poshmark account. And so now all we have to do is hit the bookmarks button, scroll down a little bit, search our bookmarks for Closet Tools. And then you're just going to tap that Closet Tools bookmark, and then Closet Tools will pop right up. Now, if you're a brand new user, you'll create an account, and you'll start as free trial, and then you'll have access to all the Closet Tools functions, full automation, everything. If you're an existing Closet Tools customer, you'll just be able to log into your account and let it run. So I'm going to log into my account, and once I'm logged in on the main feed, I'm just going to enable full automation. That's in the red circle tab here. And then I can start sharing my closet items so i can enable that i'll do 4,000 shares a day i'll share my items to parties i'll automatically send offers to likers i'll automatically follow back i'll return shares i'll follow new closets i'll share fresh closets i'll do a little bit of party feed sharing let's see i'll do some community sharing and i'll do some community following and so as long as all these options are on it's just going to run and as long as your phone stays awake and as long as you don't leave the browser, Closet Tools will run 24-7, and it'll automatically boost your closet. It'll boost your sales. It'll boost your followers. It's just going to boost a ton of activity for your closet. So hopefully this helps. Hopefully this lets you use Closet Tools in a different way so that you can free up your time so that you can make more sales with Poshmark and you can spend more time doing other things that are important to you. Hopefully this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. You can shoot me an email, Jordan at Closet Tools, and uh, I'll catch you later.